Hi, I'm Chris Evans from UCL's Interaction Center, or UClick, and I'm going to be talking about using Zoom for teaching. In today's episode, I'm going to be looking at backgrounds and lighting. I'm going to start by talking about lighting, and it's very important that you try and make sure that the main source of light is in front of you and not behind you. If it's behind you, what happens is you get silhouetted, your face is in shadow, and people can't see what you're saying. So if at all possible, make sure that light is in front. I can't do that because over here on the right, I have a window, a source of natural light, and I can't reorient myself. So in order to compensate for that, I've taken an ordinary desk lamp over here on the left and switched that on. I'm going to turn it off so you can see the effect that it's having. So now it's off and you can see that the right side of my face is brighter than the left side of my face. If I turn that lamp on, it should even things up. My next tip for you is about tidying up the background. Now, I don't mean spending the next hour rearranging your books and hiding things away. I'm talking about virtual backgrounds, and that's one of the settings in Zoom. So this is the desktop, the opening screen in, in Zoom. And in the top right hand corner, here's a tiny little cog icon that says settings. We're going to select that. And in the menu on the left, about halfway down, it says virtual background. I'm going to select that. Now this is my real office, this is my real office, um, and I'm going to hide it away. And to do that, I just select one of these ba virtual background images. I've already uploaded one, which is a picture of an office. I just click on that, and like magic, my messy background has gone. 